because again, the Democrats are making a martyr. And the New York Times survey saying 79% don't think he did anything illegal. Again, that's like incredible information to have that the majority of Americans don't believe Trump did anything illegal. So that means that the majority of Americans know that the Democrats are trying to charge him with things that aren't really illegal. So it has to be a political game. Well, let's start right out with one of our main stories, which is Trump versus everyone. Our former president, Donald J. Trump. I mean, I laugh at that. It's because I can't believe how many indictments he's had. But he only has a countdown of months to run for the president now. But he's been getting indicted right and left, mostly by Biden's DOJ, but now also Georgia wants a piece of the action. He's been embroiled in so many legal matters. At best, it's a strategy of the Democrats to disqualify him. And at worst, it's a terrible thing to do in our nation of politics because it feels like a third world issue. That's why many uh, are calling it the banana republic in uh, administration in, in the Democratic Party right now, which has never been used. I mean, I think since the 50s that that term in our government, but we're using it now. The division has been so great between politicians, but the nation seems like it would probably vote for Trump, according to the latest polls from both conservative and liberal parties. He's up in the general polling. He's right trailing right behind Biden, which we know when a Republican is trailing right behind a Democrat, it usually means there's a lot of people who won't take a poll who are Republican. And so it means that he really could win this election. He could be a book, though, in Fulton Jail in Georgia, along with Giuliani and a number of his constituents who uh, are being charged right now. And I want to just play this clip real fast from Tim Pool, because I thought it was super interesting what Tim Pool, who's a podcaster, was saying about this. Trump, Giuliani and others to be booked at Fulton County Jail. Suspects in Fulton County are booked and arraigned on two separate occasions. So according to standard procedure, Donald Trump will be in county lockup, a not so special prison. The left calls it decrepit and say people die there. So I have a few questions. How do first, how do they handle something like this? But more importantly, what would happen? And everyone's saying it won't happen. So fine. Sure. Whatever. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm saying question. What would happen if with these charges, Donald Trump his associates or any one of these individuals refuses to go to Georgia and surrender. What happens then? Fugitive charges. So there's an interesting constitutional provision. And it's, it's, it's really just absolutely hilarious. The, the armchair people on Twitter who have no idea what's going on in this world and think they know everything. And that's not everybody. I'm just saying they exist. One person brought up a really good point saying the Constitution says if someone flees from justice, then the feds can intervene to bring the person back to that state. But what if you're not in the state and weren't in that state and the state accuses you of a crime? The legal argument is that you are fleeing from justice by not surrendering. But this would mean if Donald Trump, Sidney Powell, Jenna Ellis or any one of these individuals refuses to surrender, their state would have to cooperate. Law enforcement would have to be sent out by Joe Biden to take in a former presidential administration official or lawyer and bring them to Georgia to be brought to jail. What happens? It's interesting. Ron DeSantis said that he would not assist in any extradition of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, of course, is currently in Bedminster. But what if he goes down to Mar-a-Lago? It would be awesome, Tim. It would be just yeah. the most awesome thing ever to well, see that. It would. I mean, and it would be terrible for the country. I'm, I'm aware, and there are people that are mad well, at me I, for I, saying I, this. I don't know if that's true either. I think, I think see it would how far it goes. Bad. Like push the envelope, make them come get you. I want those offices. I, I want I, the I, feds. Too, too. I think. I think <laughs> they should have to go serve of documentation to Trump. I think Donald Trump, not going to get a, a, a fair shake in uh, Bedminster. He's up in New Jersey. Good luck with that. I think Trump, his perfect play is to go to Florida. This is a very interesting take. And I wanted to play this today because there's so many people who are uh, commentators, journalists who are talking about what if, what if, what if. Well, we know right now that the, the judge has a major bias against Trump in this situation in Georgia. She's actually being investigated by Congress right now. And we saw the same thing happen with the January 6th trials, that when the January 6th trials were happening, and the investigation that cost hundreds of millions of dollars to the American public, that there was no new information. As a matter of fact, when uh, Congress became Republican, they asked for the, the records and that just now they've asked for all the investigations and it was all deleted illegally by the uh, Democratic Party. So we know one of the reasons why Trump has done so well is that he understands the economy and specific investing. And I do want to say that my sponsor today for the Sean Bull Show will help you have investments in the season that's going to stabilize your retirement and finances. Now, Birch Gold has been a leader in helping you to invest into what Ben Shapiro says is an asset and one area of humanity, human activity that has never been worth zero, which is gold and precious metals. Gold's ability to maintain its intrinsic value across thousands of years of independent uh, geography and radical changes in technology support its potential to be safe and a safe haven asset to protect your savings. And if you want more information and a free investment strategy guide, go to birchgold.com forward slash Sean Bowles. And this, this company is completely safe. You're going to at least want to talk for their free investment guide. You're going to want to talk to them about 
what you could do for your uh, retirement, for your 401k, or just to buy some gold, just to have it on hand, whether you store it yourself or store it with them. But what, here we go, back to Trump. So one of the big things that keeps happening to Trump is the Democrats have been trying things like they never have done before to a former president, like reveals IRS tax records. Of course, they've indicted him on a local and state and federal level. They did the DOG raid at his personal house. That's never happened before. And not only has it never happened before, but these acts of showmanship, including, of course, the January 6th hearings we just mentioned, they, they never revealed anything new again and cost us lots of money. It caused us all to not trust politicians right now. It makes Biden look bad. It makes the Democrats look bad. To even to their own people, they're looking bad. And so when you see CNN goes on Friday and shows a poll that Donald Trump on the five major polls that have been done in the news media is leading right behind Biden and that he's leading the, the Republican caucus by 20 points or more. And DeSantis is the only one who's even behind him, but he's behind 20 points or more. And so Trump, who's being currently indicted, was also in Newsweek. They said that that 79% uh, of people who voted in Newsweek, this is uh, yeah, this is a normal newspaper, not conservative at all. 79% don't believe that Trump has done something illegal that would require jail time. This is normal, everyday, average Americans who are saying this. So as a matter of fact, some congressional leaders have talked about the Biden effect. In other words, every time the Biden family is about to be revealed for another fact-finding against them, they do a strategic release of, to distract us by putting something out in Trump. And we see this over and over and over. There's even been newspapers who can show the link of this day, Biden was being exposed for this much money or Hunter Biden or President Biden. And this day Trump was indicted or the day after Trump was indicted. So in the midst of all these fake allegations and shenanigans, it's just not working. They're making a martyr out of Trump to the degree that more and more Americans are listening to the policy positions, which he's being very clear on so many of the policies on his own YouTube, social media, Twitter, mostly on his own YouTube and, uh, and his own social media network. He's talking about all of his policies and they are actually really sound minded, especially for the economy. These most recent indictments haven't lessened Trump's campaign, but are actually strengthening his position because, again, the Democrats are making a martyr. And the New York Times survey saying 79 percent, I said Newsweek, it's actually New York Times survey, 79 percent don't think he did anything illegal. Again, that's like incredible information to have that the majority of Americans don't believe Trump did anything illegal. So that means that the majority of Americans know that the Democrats are trying to charge him with things that aren't really illegal. So it has to be a political game. Now, whether you're a Democrat or Republican listening to this, we're living in unprecedented times. And we see, you know, things are happening where a person like Trump can regroup and and have a new political strategy because Biden is having a new political strategy, which usually ends up in Trump getting indicted again. I know Trump's announced that he's not going to participate in the Republican primary debates, but instead is going to be interviewed by Tucker Carlson, who's getting viewers like 80 or 60 to 90 million views per video he puts out right now, the most of anyone in the country. So right now, besides Joe Rogan, there's Tucker Carlson on the X, formerly known as Twitter platform, is getting incredible viewers and is going to be launching a platform in 2024 before the elections on Twitter or on X, formerly known as Twitter. They're going to be launching a very conservative news source with some of the people that are, are not just conservatives, on people who are on the Democratic side in the middle, who are now moving over to Tucker Carlson, which will be shortly announced. And they're going to be fighting this out for truth, which is going to be really interesting when you have so much so much just confusion that's been put out there. Well, other Republican hopefuls have either taken jabs at Trump, like Mike Pence, who used to not stoop politically to undermine his candidates, but now for some reason, Mike Pence has gone into shenanigans as well, which I'm really is unfortunate. I think Mike Pence is a good man. And I'm so sad that he's stooping to basic politics to be able to gain a platform that we just don't agree with. It's just so sad. But others are completely ignoring Trump like he's not a big elephant in the room. Well, the Daily Wire suggests that the Democrats are trying to get Trump to be the leader of the Republican for 2020, uh, party for 2024 because they can focus all their efforts to imprison or undermine him and get their candidate in. So that, according to Daily Wire, they believe that this is a strategy to sway the elections to somehow uh, it, it's a it's a informal way or un, not necessarily an un, illegal way, but it's unethical to sway the election. So it's hard to report on someone like Trump 
or something that's happening like this because it's not just a natural thing. It's full of spiritual injustices on both sides. But it also means as Christians, we have the power to pray and ask the Spirit of God to bring His justice and exposure to events that are happening right now. Spirits of God really wants to do something in our nation. And the enemy is trying to checkmate us right now, but God still has a plan. And if all the revival activity is an indicator in the midst of all the shaking is happening, then you're just not seeing correctly. There's so much good happening. Don't get caught up in your nation's politics or America's politics. Get caught up in God's heart and see with his eyes right now.